Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. From today we are starting a new series and in this series we will build complete attendance management system which includes project management, managers management, employee management, leaves management and a stats dashboard for admin. And in today's video I will give you the project overview and demo so let's get started without wasting any time so to build this project for the database we will use mysql and to interact with the database we will use mysql workbench and here on the screen you can see the schema and the tables of our project and after this for the backend we will use Spring Boot and for the Java version we will use Java 17 and after this for the IDE of Spring Boot application we will use IntelliJ and as you can see our backend application is up on port 8080 and after this for the frontend we will use Angular and for the angular version we will use angular 19 which is the latest one and you can see the basic folder structure of our angular application and our angular application is up on port 4 to double hundred and now let's talk about project overview and in this project we will have three roles which includes admin role manager and employee role and after this let's talk about the features of admin and in our application we will create the admin account automatically and admin can use email and password to log in in our application and after this on the admin dashboard admin can view the attendance stats and after this admin can manage projects which includes creating new projects and view the existing projects and after the projects admin can manage the managers which includes creating new managers and view the existing ones and after the managers admin can manage employees which includes creating new employees and after admin features let's now talk about the features of manager and after the creation of manager by admin manager can use these details to log in and after the login admin can view the assigned employees on the dashboard and after this he can mark the attendance of the employees and after this manager can view leave request of his assigned employees and at the end he can accept or reject these leave request and after the manager let's talk about the employee features and after creation of employee employee can use these details to the login and after this on the dashboard of employee he can view his leave request with the status and at the end employee can apply for the leave and that's it for project overview now let's go to the browser and let's view the demo and as you can see i am in a browser and this is the login page of our application and on this login page we have a form with the inputs of email and password and now let's try to log in as admin and in the email input i will give the email as admin at the rate gmail.com and after this i will enter the admin password and this time i am adding wrong password and now let's click on this login button and as you can see we got an error bad credentials and after this let's remove this password and as you can see we got validation error which says please input your password and now let's enter the right password and let's click on this login button and as you can see after login we got redirected to admin dashboard and on this dashboard in the first row we can see number of employees absent present and on leave and after this in the second row we have number of total projects and after this we have number of attendance records in our db and at the end of second row we have leave request available in our db and after this on the last row we have total number of absent employees in the history of this project and after this we have total present approved leaves and rejected leaves and that's it for our admin dashboard and after this let's click on this attendance records menu 
and as you can see we got redirected to attendance records page and on this page we have a table and in this table we are showing all attendance records and this includes the date employee name project name manager name and the status and green status indicates present and the red one indicates absent and after this the yellow one indicates leave and after this let's click on this projects menu and as you can see we got redirected to manage projects page and in this page on the right hand side we can view all the projects available in our db and on the left hand side we have a form to create a new project and now let's create a new project and for the name i will give this as third project and after this we need to enter the duration and let's give this as one year and after this we need to enter the start date and let's give it as today's date and as you can see our add new project button got enabled and now let's click on this button and as you can see we got a message project posted successfully and after this our all projects data got updated and our post new project form got reset and after this let's click on this managers menu and as you can see we got redirected to manage managers page and on this page in the same way we can view all managers in our application on the right hand side and after this we have a form to create a new manager and now let's create a new manager and first of all we need to enter the name of the manager and let's give this as third manager and after this we need to enter the email and we will give this as manager3 at the rate gmail.com and after this we need to enter the password for this manager account and we will give this as manager3 and after this we need to assign a project to this manager so we will open this drop down and in this drop down we can see all the projects available in our database and now let's assign third project to this manager and after this we will click on this add new manager button and as you can see we got the message manager posted successfully and after this our data got updated and our form got reset and after this let's click on this employees menu and as you can see we got redirected to manage employees page and in the same way on the right hand side we can see all employees available in our db and on the left hand side we have a form to create a new employee and now let's create a new employee and for the email i will give this as third employee and after this we need to give the email and we will give this as employee3 at the rate gmail.com and after this we need to enter the password and we will give this as employee3 and at the end we need to assign a project to this employee and let's assign the third project to this employee and after this we will click on this add employee button and as you can see we got the message employee posted successfully and after this our data got updated and our form got reset and that's it for the features of admin and now let's click on this logout button and after this let's log in as manager and in the same login page we need to enter the details of manager and for the email we will give this as manager3 at the rate gmail.com and after this for the password we will give this as manager3 and this is the manager which we just created and after this we will click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the manager dashboard after the login and on the manager dashboard we can see all the employees assigned to this project and manager and as you can see we have the third employee assigned to this manager and project and after this in this table for the actions we have three buttons and we can mark today's attendance for this manager and now let's say we want to mark this employee as present and to do this we will click on this present button and as you can see we got message attendance marked successfully and after this we have a check that we can't mark attendance of an employee for two times in a day and now let's click on this absent button again for today's attendance and as you can see we got an error attendance already marked for
for today and after this let's click on this manage leaves menu and as you can see we got redirected to the leaves page and in this page we have a table which is empty for now because we don't have any leave request for this project and manager and after this let's click on this log out button and now let's log in as employee and on the login page for the email we will give employee 3 at the rate gmail.com and after this we will give the password as employee 3 and after this we will click on this login button and as you can see after the login we got redirected to employee dashboard and on the top of this dashboard we have apply today's leave button and now let's click on this button and as you can see we got a message leave applied successfully and after this we got our record updated and in this table we are showing all the leave request of this employee and in this table first of all we are showing the date project name manager name and the status of the leave and now let's log out as employee and after this let's log in as manager and for the email we will give manager3 at the rate gmail.com and after this we will enter the password and we will click on this login button and after the login let's click on this manage leaves menu and as you can see we got one leave request and in this table for the actions we have approve and reject button and now let's say we want to reject this leave and to do this the manager can click on this reject button and as you can see after the api call the status got updated to rejected and that's it for the demo and overview of our attendance management project and we will start the implementation of this project from the next video and if you want to add more features in this project or have any other suggestion you can comment them down below on this video